What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys Ghost BSD. Now BSD is a different type of Linux operating system that derived from Unix. Some people might not like that statement because they look at BSD as totally separate from Linux, but it's a Unix based operating system. It's been around for a long time. And BSD actually stands for Berkeley Software Distribution. And that has since been discontinued, but there are a bunch of other BSD distributions out there. For instance, FreeBSD, and the one I'm gonna do today is GhostBSD. And just to explain a little bit more, Mac OS is basically based off of BSD. So it derived from BSD as well. But I just wanted to go on and show you guys a little bit about BSD. I'm venturing off into another area that I don't really touch much. Like I haven't done many BS, BSD videos on my channel other than PF Sense, which I did a video on a while back, which is a router setup, but it uses the base of it is BSD as well. But let's go down and get started. I want to go to the distro watch page right fast so you guys can see a little bit about the distribution. So let's get started. Okay, cool. So I have distro watches page up and BSD actually released a new version not that long ago. I can't remember when it was. It was this. Yeah, it was actually yesterday. And that's what kind of prompt me to go it on and download it and play around with it. And if we go back up to the top, let's just read a little bit about it. It says Ghost BSD is a user friendly desktop operating system based on free BSD. The default desktop is Mate, but a separate community edition with XFCE is available too. It also features the an open RC init system, a selection of commonly used software, a rolling release development model and a bootable live image with an intuitive graphical systems installer and just to show you guys this popularity right now on the list at distro watch is number 46 so it may it may start rising a little bit because it just they just released a newer version of it but just to read up here it says os type bsd it's based on free bsd like we stated or like we read the origin is Canada. So someone in Canada actually developed Ghost BSD. And I'm not sure who the developer is. It may be on the website once we go to the website. But the architecture, you know, obviously uh, x86-64. And then desktop environments, uh, Mate is the default. And then they have that community version, which has XFCE on it. Uh, category, desktop, live media. So let's go to Ghost BSD's website right fast so you guys can uh, see a little bit about it. And actually, you know, on the main page, they have, you know, a beautiful picture of the desktop. So that looks cool. That And that should be Mate, the Mate desktop. But it basically states, you know, it's simple. Uh, it says Ghost BSD provides a simple desktop oriented operating system. Uh, and that's pretty much what we read on the other page on distro watch and then the latest news this is what i was talking about so on the 15th they released a new version of ghost bsd and here are the release notes so if you guys want to check that out you can it's on their website but this article was written on the 16th which today is the 17th for me but this so this was yesterday when they released this and here are some of the you know feature issues and features that they either fixed or added to the distribution. Now, I'm very unfamiliar with BSD operating system, so bear with me on the installation. They had, they do have good documentation on installing uh, Ghost BSD, which I'll show you that now. But if you go to their wiki page, uh, this has a lot of information. And actually, let me go back one second just to show you guys how to download it. Just hit the download button. There you go. And you can download the official release, which that's the latest version. And then also they have the XFCE community release. So you can get that as well and download those. Uh, they have a direct link and then a torrent link. And then the SHA-256. So you can verify that you downloaded the proper copy of it. So 
let's go to the wiki right fast but i wanted to show you guys that they do have a a very ex extensive installation guide so it walks you through the whole process and i'll just stop at the table of contents page but as you can see they have you know everything broken out into sections so the installation is fairly simple based on what i saw because i went through and you know researched a little bit before i started recording this video but you can follow this process from here and then they also have you know a whole bunch of information about the actual operating system for instance boot process desktop environment directory structure kernel competence you know and manuals open rc systems administration you know a whole bunch of information on how to actually use the operating system and use it properly so let's go on and get started uh with the installation let me switch over to my virtual machine i already have one set up for this so let's go on and get started with that okay cool so we have the desktop up and let's go on and install so all you have to do is pretty much uh double click on the install uh ghost bsd and it should open up the installer in a couple seconds just wait there we go all right so welcome to ghost bsd uh so select your language first step uh select your keyboard and it's already defaulted to english i'm pretty sure on this side it is as well um it says keyboard model oh you don't have to worry about selecting that just select the english uh on the keyboard layout and it should work fine so let's hit next it says continent america i'm in america and we can roll with that and let's go down and select the uh, los angeles if i can find it there we go boom so select your city and then full disk configuration so let's press next i'm gonna roll with that i'm not gonna mess with the custom uh and then let's go down and and use the whole hard drive and then let's just hit next i'm gonna use the defaults uh so pool type single disk uh partition scheme gpt and the swap size uh two gigabytes and then also it says up here force uh zfs 4k block size so that's cool and then free bsd bios loader that's what i'm gonna select boom and then let's go down and sl select the root password cool and uh, so we're good and it's weak but i don't care <laughs> so let's just go down and type in our name um and then we can leave that as the name and then let's go down and type in a weak password for our user account too uh but that's cool and then the, for the shell um i'm gonna put it on bash just to make it simple because like i said i ain't never played around with bsd this is my first time messing around with bsd so i know fish is a good shell but uh i'm gonna just go down and use bash but i'll be back when it completes i'll skip past this part all right cool so the installation is done i'm gonna go down and reboot the system so let's go down and hit that now just hit reboot or restart and it'll restart the system from there and i'll be back when it actually uh comes up all right cool so we booting up the system now and hopefully it works properly i had a couple of issues with this installation it took a little while to get it going but uh finally got it started so hopefully we don't have those issues uh booting up and actually it was mainly when i was trying to boot up the iso within the virtual machine software uh before i was using virtualbox and i could not get it to boot for nothing i, I tried like so many different ways to get this thing to boot up using virtualbox but i had to end up using boxes so this is actually boxes what i'm actually using to run the virtual machine so let's go down and log into it but this is the login page and this copy of bsd is using a mate desktop so and for one right off i really enjoy the background i have to steal this for my main machine i really enjoy that <laughs> i really like that background but basically what i'm gonna do is just go through the system just to, so you guys can get a feel for what goes to bsd is all about and you shouldn't have to worry about installing this on a real machine 
this is man is mainly some issues because I was running this in virtual virtual box. But anyway, so up here they got the calendar. Uh, this is the network settings, and then also the volume settings are up here. And if you've used Mate, then you probably understand how this operating system works. So it's or this desktop environment actually works. So let's go through and just show you all the different applications. So it comes default with uh, looks like some character maps, uh, archive manager. So in grandpa, and I've never used that one before, but it's an archive manager, Mate calculator, uh, pretty much a lot of the Mate tools. Then you got your uh, seahorse or your password key manager. Uh, plank and I don't know what plank is never seen never used that before but pluma uh, screenshot application that's cool now with graphics uh, it's only got like three applications so I of my take image viewer then my take color selector and shot well so that's on there and the default browser which is super cool is Firefox I always like to see that because Firefox is a good you know browser so and then also they have transmission which is cool uh so if you do BitTorrent, then you have that application already installed on there and then under the office it comes with evolution for the mail client so that's okay you know i'm not a fan of uh evolution anymore i used to like it but thunderbird i think is a whole lot better but they got a document viewer viewer and Mate Dictionary, so that's cool programming. They have Glade, uh, sound and videos, Rhythm Box. I like Rhythm Box, super cool. Uh, they got a sound, you know, settings, and I'm assuming that's pretty much the same. That's probably up here, yeah. Sound preferences, um, and then they also have VLC, which is super cool. And I kind of like this theme that's on here for the icons so it actually looks cool but uh then under the system tools the kaija uh decom editor log viewer mate dish usage analyzer mate system monitor and let's open that up just see what it looks like and that's cool it's using all my cpus and boxes which i kind of don't like but it's actually working that way so but then uh mate terminal and power statistics so you could change the power settings uh then under here we have the places so obviously this is how you can open up your home directories and you know desktop computer and so they'll just open up another one you know that goes straight to the computer and then we have network settings so you can go to your network computers or if you got like a samba share or something like i just click on it just just to see but it should pull up my network shares um probably under windows networks and actually i'm not gonna worry about showing you guys that but you can most likely type in let's see sftp and then let's go to my server let's just see if we can get to it and probably not oh yeah and that's right i won't be able to i won't be able to get to it because of the way the network works in boxes uh I'm new to boxes. I don't really use it that much. So it's kind of, it's new to me. I haven't used it, but anyway, let's go down and close out this and go back to system or go to places. But that's pretty much it right there. Under there, you got the Mate search tool. And then also let's go under systems now. Now, one thing I want to show you guys under the control center, this is basically all the settings for the system right here. So you can go in here and do whatever you need to do. So, you know, you got your print settings, software station, update station. And I, I was going to open that up as well uh, in a little bit, but I'll open it up now and just kind of put it in the background so you guys can see, but let's put it back, put it in the back. But then you got your hardware, you know, display settings. You can change up your display, uh, power management, time, data, date manager you know network proxies appearance and that was something that i was going to go into as well just to show you guys what all they have in it so super cool 
and then we got fonts you know interfaces you can go there and you can change up everything and, and i like dark themes so um that's something that i really enjoy and that's let's close this or change it so right fast but anyway you know you got the rest of your look and feel stuff main menu you know windows station tweet um file management about me you know startup applications just basically your typical stuff uh settings main settings are under the control center uh center so you can go through and make all the changes that you want to the system now what i was talking about was looking at the package manager so this is basically the software station so you can go through and install all your applications from here uh you can go through and search you know by what you need what you want to search by and install all your applications under here you know what i'm saying so be good to go and then also it was one other thing i wanted to show you up here is the update station so this will actually update the system if there are any updates like what it just said it i guess it checks it automatically checks or should automatically check to see if you have updates for the system and it'll bring up your your system it'll bring up your updates and you should be able to update the system from there and then right up in here this was one other thing before i you know kind of close out the video but uh you can click on about my tape but that's the lock screen and then the log out and then the shutdown so you can shut down the system from here and that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys for this distribution hopefully you guys got some out of it you know i think you should check out some of the bsds i've always had issues with installing bsds and i never said anything because it was just something that i didn't put much energy in on getting to work uh but now people are, are kind of requesting that i look at some bsd distributions as well so that's what made me go it on and spend the time and figure this out and i don't know if you guys can see but i actually started this install around 10 p.m on the 17th and it's already one o'clock in the morning uh for monday january 18th which this video should be up today on the 18th i'm gonna put it up in the evening time but that just shows you how long it took me to figure this out but i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said please like share and subscribe to the channel uh if you have any like requested distributions that you guys want me to look at just hit me in the comments you know i check all my comments i try to respond to everything i'm a little behind because this weekend i kind of took a a short break but i'm kind of catching up so this is actually the video for Sunday, but I'm uploading it Monday. And then I'm gonna try to have another one up today as well. So hopefully I get it done. If I don't, it'll just pop up on Tuesday. You know, I was trying to catch up because, you know, I wanted to keep putting up a video a day. And even though I'm behind, I should catch up today and be on my schedule that I was trying to do. But, but I hope you guys have a good day and keep it techie.